So we're here in Vermont and we found a spot that we like, which is actually really close to a spot that we want. The spot we want is just up the road that way, north. And it's actually really big. This spot's really small and uh, we got stuck <laughs> in the mud. And it's supposed to rain today and tomorrow. And I, th today's, today's Friday. Today's Friday, right? Today's Friday. <laughs> And it's supposed to rain today and tomorrow. Sunday it's supposed to be clear and partly sunny. So hopefully it dries it out enough that we can get out and maybe make it to the spot we really want to go to and stay there for 14 days. So the problem is when we pulled in, we should have backed in and we actually tried to and it was just really awkward and we decided instead to pull in. So we pulled in too far and the site has a slight decline to it. So when we're pulling in, we're going downhill slightly and so we couldn't get the um, trailer tires onto the levelers to level <laughs> the trailers so it's not level at all and then it's also on enough of a decline that we couldn't even level it front to back so <laughs> we're stuck for a couple days so since we're stuck we're gonna go ahead and head out to town and uh, we're gonna eat some food maybe hopefully see some sights. Uh, we're going to visit the Welcome Center to see what we can do in the area. We're just going to do what we can to pass the time until we can get to a bigger spot that's not so muddy. And uh, to pass that time, we're heading to town. That whole pancake. than I would have found on my own, including stuff from behind the desk. We took pictures of stuff that he only had one copy of. It's really cool. So he gave us directions to covered bridges, and we're going to hit a couple of them on our way to that big monument way out there that you might not be able to see. It's that way? It's right there. Oh, yeah. There it is. So we just had to buy tickets for the monument. They were $5 a piece, so $10 total. Uh, and that's to take an elevator all the way to the top uh, where there's a observation deck. So I'm pretty sure that that $10 is gonna be worth it. We're staying somewhere out here and you can see that the 
clouds are just completely enveloping the tip of that mountain. So that's right where we're, it's so foggy where we're staying right now because of that. It's foggy, it's humid, it's cold and moist because we're literally in a cloud. <laughs> So this monument was made to commemorate the Battle of Bennington in 1777. Apparently it was a huge turning point in the American Revolution. It's the tallest building in Vermont and it's the sixth largest monument in the entire United States. And the observation deck that we were in um, that outlooks Vermont is 177 feet 7 inches tall, 1777. The architect made it that height. 1777 to just commemorate the year of the battle. It was really cool going in there and taking the elevator up to the observation deck just so we could see everything and learning the history of the monument. Definitely worth the stop. And we were told by a local that there's a lady that has to go up and change that light when it burns out all the way at the top of the monument. So she has to climb that little ladder from that little uh that little deck up there to go up and change that light bulb would you like that job no nope. why not nope. Nope. scared of heights <laughs> just a little bit <laughs> 